Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about implant close trait impression technique. Here on the table, we have the parts that we're going to need for this exercise. We have our simulated patient that has been referred back from the surgical provider. This patient presents with a novel biocar internal connection tri-channel implant. We also have our implant restorative components that we order with our faculty. These are closed tray or transfer impression coping, implant analog or replica, implant and screwdriver with attached dental flows to prevent aspiration, custom tray, which in this case we already apply the adhesive or PBS, and the impression material. Our impression technique will follow six steps. Step number one, remove the healing abutment with the manual screwdriver. This exercise is in a single implant, but please note in the clinic, if working with multiple implants, remove one healing abutment at a time to place the impression coping. Step number two, insert the closed tray impression coping into the implant. Ensure of the loves of the tri-channel configuration of the impression coping engages the tri-channel connection in the implant. Once it's seated, use the screwdriver to fasten. In the clinical scenario, a radiograph will be needed to verify a proper seating of the impression copy. Step number three, inject heavy body impression material, in this case, PDS, around the impression coping and into the tray. See the impression tray on our simulated patient. Once the impression material is fully set, remove the tray. Step number four. Remove the impression coping from the implant with the manual screwdriver. Immediately replace the healing environment. Patient now can be discharged. Step number five. Attach impression coping onto the corresponding implant replica or analog and ensure accurate seating. You can use a screwdriver to help you to seat it tight. Step number six, insert the impression coping implant replica assembly into the corresponding location into the impression. The cutout area and the impression coping should align perfectly into the impression. Impression now is ready for soft tissue cast fabrication in the lab. And that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.